The company uses this formula, trade receivable at year end divided by revenue for the year times 365 to calculate the receivable uh, collection period. Which of the following will not affect the correctness of the above calculation of the average day the customer take to pay? Now, I already identified some error here, class. You see, uh, you see? The revenue here, they use full revenue, you know. It could contain cash sales. So this formula is not perfect. But out of the four here, which one will not affect the correctness? Number one, the company experienced considerable seasonal trading. Seasonal trading. Yeah, it will. Because you use receivable at year end, right? So this one is affected by seasonal trading. Oh, so if you set your year end at high season, you have a lot of receivable. If you set your season at low season, then you have less receivable. So it will affect the correctness. Number two, the company make a number of cash sales. Now, cash sales will affect your calculation because you didn't use credit sales. C. Reported revenue does not include 15% sales tax, but the receivable do include the tax. So basically, you are doing 100 divided by 115. This one will affect the ratio. Eh, no? the It's 115 divided by 100. Because your sales uh, has got the doesn't have the sales tax, but the receivable uh, has the sales tax. So the answer must be donkey then, because ABC also affects the correctness of the ratio. The company factor with recalls the receivable of its largest customer. If you factor with recalls, that means you give guarantee, you know. That means there's no sales. Still have the receivable. No sale of receivable. Huh? You still have the receivable. Because ABC also affects the correctness, donkey will not affect the correctness. You factor the receivable with recalls, that means you still keep the receivable. And there's nothing wrong for you to include it inside your calculation.